pleasure to introduce myself. I'm Mira Munyandi, metric number 259239. Okay, before I start my presentation today, I would like to introduce our company name as Titanium Compression, which are mainly focused on a shoe rack. Okay, and I as the position of a quality control aim to ensure the product and service of an organization to provide a fit to a purpose. Okay, now we'd like to give a talk about a prototype shoe rack. This is not real, this is a prototype. Okay, we'd like to give an explanation about it. All right. On the left hand side, there's a there's a basket over here. So the function of the basket to put like some kind of maybe any other items. Okay. So maybe it's a fit around here, or maybe can put like a socks. Okay. So this is the the function of the basket over this side. Okay. On the on the my next hand on the right hand hand side, can you see like some kind we can hang? So maybe we can hang this umbrella over here so we have uh, two types of function on this uh, shoe rack which are mainly customer and give a high demand if they want some kind of more function on a one shoe rack and we do have a uh, three types of layer position in our company is purchasing manager uh, uh, my task uh, purchasing manager okay my task is uh, purchase and uh, find the material for build this product this product okay uh, beside that we all, uh, I've also made a technical drawing okay let's proceed the presentation uh, let's proceed. first uh, the price of material okay the material that we use is a uh, plywood screw to compile the play, uh, the part and uh, basket and hook okay the price of plywood is rm44 ringgit uh, the price of the screw is rm6 ringgit and the five and uh, five ringgit for basket and hook uh, okay uh, next, uh, I want to talk about technical drawing. In the technical drawing, which uh, in the te in the technical drawing, we consist uh, of height, length, and weight. Uh, the Okay, for building the show rack, we need, for example, two wooden boards uh, for the size of the show rack, four wooden board for the shelf of the show rack, uh, one wooden board for the top, and also one wooden board for the bottom of the show rack. Uh, and also, not forget, um, one piece of three over four plywood uh, to make the back of the show rack. Uh, okay, how to make a shoe rack? Uh, for the first step, we need to measure the wood. Uh, we need to determine the right size of each wood. Okay, after we measure the size of each wooden we need to use. Uh, 
next step is we cut the wood we cut the wood uh, using saw and uh, this wood cut uh, will be the shelf for the show rack later ok and the next step is we create the legs uh, ok this leg we create uh, to build the show rack frame later ok uh, after we cut the wood uh, we, the next process is we sand we sand the wood uh, this process is to make sure the surface of the wood uh, is clean and smooth ok next uh, we need to inserting the screws uh, in the wood frame uh, for making this process uh, we use an electrical screw driver to insert to insert the screws uh, and also we need to making sure uh, we use low speeds at the first step okay, for the smart tip for an uh, average shoe rack uh, we need to secure each corner frame with 3 screws a secure to make the frame better uh, ok after we inserting the screws in the wood frame the image will be like this ok this is when we finish building the shoe rack frame ok next step after uh, the frame of the shoe rack is finished uh, we need to build in the shelf of the shoe rack uh, we need to make sure uh, the shelf bracket first uh, we need to take accurate measurement so that the wooden bracket are perfectly aligned with the wood shelf this is the image of the uh, shelf and the shelf brackets ok you can see this is the process when we cut the shelf brackets to nest it with the shelf ok after we cutting the finish cutting the shelf brackets uh, then the next step is installing shoe rack shelf and next after finish the shoe rack shelf uh, the image could be like this ok this is after we put the shoe rack shelf next step is uh, we need to put the plywood on the back of the shoe rack we use a hammer to lock into position at the back of the frame and use a tape measurement to determine its dimension and also use finishing nails to make the shoe rack more firm and resistant over time ok and after we finish uh, put the plywood on the back of the shoe rack uh, then we also need to stain the wood if as in stage to make it uh, to make it more beautiful thank you number is 259354 okay my position in the titanic corporation is a designer manager which uh, i manage in managing our graphic design okay i will make sure that our product produce is suitable with nowadays lifestyle okay now let's proceed to the type of process uh, for the type of process uh, for each step of the total product by manufacturing process we have 14 we have 14 process Okay, which is firstly, we must to measure the wood uh, to determine the right size. And after that, we must to cut the wood by using the saw uh, which the right measurements. After that, we create the leg to make the shoes right frame. And after that, we use the sanding machine to wrap the wood uh, until the surface becomes smooth. After we wrap the wood, we must do fastening shoes right through uh, shoes right frame, and uh, we must do insert the screw in the wood. After insert the screw in the wood, place the shaft brackets. After that, uh, we nail the brackets, and after nail the bracket, uh, we cutting the shaft brackets. Uh, and we installing shoes right shelf. After installing the shelf right shelf right shoes, uh, we installing the plywood on the back of the shoes right. 
After that, uh, put the hook uh, beside the rack. And after, uh, lastly, we ma uh, we stain the wood until it become uh, in a good condition. And finish. Uh, my name is Shahidatina binti Muhammad Kalmin. Uh, my matric number is 246749. Okay, uh, I am the general manager for the uh, for the uh, Titanium Corporation. Um, uh, as you know, uh, our product is the multifunction show rack uh, for uh, that we uh, we produce. Okay, now I want to present about my part, which is the type of equipment or machine that we use in the our process. Uh, okay, the first one we use the uh, the measuring tape, where this function to measuring the wooden follow the standard measurement measurement. Okay, then we use the L, uh, okay, L square, where to measure the angle in 90 degrees part. We also use the pencil, where to mark, to mark the measuring at the wooden and sketch the our plan. And we also use the level. Uh, this device uh, for establish the horizontal plan. Then we use the rubber hammer. This function to know the wooden piece together. Also use the hammer. Jigsaw. You can see the jigsaw. Which this function on the saw plate a low cutting angle of typically up to 45 degrees. Okay, we use the hand saw where to cut a piece of wood into the different shape. We also use the C clamp or, or G clamp. Uh, this function to hold a wooden work piece. Also, the drill machinery uh, used to cut a hole into the true metal. We use the sand. Okay, we use the sand paper where to smooth the the wooden surface. And this one, we use the brush where we want to paint or uh, paint the surface of the wooden. Uh, this is uh, a varnish. Uh, the function is to cover and beautiful, beautify the wooden, wooden surface. Okay, that's all from us. Uh, my friend uh, we'll um, continue for other park. Function show rack with basket and hanger is designed with the help of user study data. A prototype model is made which is 
aesthetically well pleasing and appreciated by many people okay uh, this project has given uh, the opportunity to the new product design and development process in the organization uh, it has been a wonderful experience experience for student to work as an individual designer in an organization okay that's all from us uh, thank you for watching our video thank you